Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? We decided to swap our normal night walk that we usually do on Friday nights uh, for this nice sunny day walk. And we're going to be headed on to the Coney Island Boardwalk. It is Memorial Day weekend. So right now, as I am recording this, it is Friday, uh, just before 12 o'clock. We are on Brighton 15, and we're going to head on to the boardwalk. Now today, the temperature is actually all weekend. It's going to be very nice here, but it's not beach weather. Like right now, the temperature is not even 70 degrees. Um, there's like a stiff breeze coming off of the beach and yeah it's just definitely not beach weather um definitely sun tanning weather but i wouldn't go in the water right now the other thing is although the beach is officially open uh, i would imagine they have red flags up they usually uh, will have red flags up when you have when they, when they kind of feel like they have to check and make sure that the water temperature is okay. Because you could, you could actually still get uh, hypothermia in, this kind, in these uh, kind of waters. So, and the other thing is rip tides and plus the other thing is a lot of kids are still in school. It is Friday. I mean, it, the kids will be off on Monday, but schools are still going on. And yeah, there is a red flag. So I was right. There are red flags on the beach. So that means... Whenever you see red flags on the beach, it means you're not supposed to go in the water. And that can mean a lot of different things, right? It can mean, well, the most obvious thing I'll tell you right now, that's because there's no lifeguards. So I don't see any lifeguards in their chairs. But you can get red flags for bad, you know, heavy winds, rip tide, rip current. Bad weather. So here we are. Let's take a look around on the beach. There's nobody on the beach. Now, we're down on Brighton 15, so this is the light part of the beach anyway. So when we get to Coney Island, well, we're on Coney Island technically, but we get to the Coney Island part, which is all the way down there. We should start to see more and more people as we get closer to the amusement park. This is where we would go when we were kids. We'd come down to Brighton 14 and 15. It's got the least amount of people. And then just beyond this neighborhood is Manhattan Beach. And that was a beach. That's a beach that's uh, probably about a 10 minute walk from here. Here we go. Let's do this. We are on the boardwalk. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great weekend. If you're watching this, it's probably Saturday morning. That's usually when I drop these Friday night commentary videos, although this is not a Friday night video. I figured, you know what? Let me move the camera up a little bit. It's, you know, Memorial Day weekend, so why not get on the beach? I have plans tonight, so that was why I couldn't do a uh, walk at night. And I'll probably have plans all weekend, so I won't really be able to um, get any walks done or anything like that. figure we'll walk down. I don't know where we're going to end the walk. Um, we'll see. We shall see.
try to hit all the camera angles to give you all a look of what's going on. Like I said, there's nothing going on on the beach down here, at least. We'll get on the beach when we get down to uh, the pier. Like I said earlier, uh, you're gonna notice a lot of people with jackets on and pants, and it is cool down here. It's very comfortable cool though. It's it's not like um, like freezing cool. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt right now. As a matter of fact, let me flip the camera around. I got my filter on, so I don't know if you guys will be able to see me really good, but. If I tilt, hold on, I gotta ch change the, there we go. See, I'm wearing my shorts and my shirt. And I'll flip it back around. So it's, you know, it's warm enough to wear shirts and, t you know, a t-shirt and shorts, but the breeze is pretty cool. I say the air temperature is around 70, but the, the sea breeze is around 60. There we got the lifeguard station over here. And we're about to hit you know, some of the restaurants popular restaurants and cafes that are down here on the boardwalk. Of course, our uh, complimentary futuristic look in bathrooms. I call them futuristic because they look like the type of structures you see them drop on Mars for people to live on for about 365 days. When I first saw these, I, I was, this was years ago too. These have been around for years. I was like, man, that's a strange design. This part of the bulwark is raggedy. Need some work. Looks like we got some more people on the beach down here. Again, it's very light down here. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like on Coney Island. So I got some people sunbathing. This right here is Brighton Six. Got signs here that say the bicycles are only permitted between six and ten, but I will tell you for sure that rule is never followed. Tatiana. And then you got Tatiana Grill just coming up. I guess what we'll do is we'll get in a little closer. So 
So you can see a lot of people wearing jackets and pants. Little dog. Actually, it's a big dog. Medium sized dog? We'll go for that. This right here is a small dog. Looks like we got uh, lifeguards over here. Two lifeguards sitting up on the lifeguard station, but there's still red flags down here. It is early though, it's uh, not not 12 o'clock just quite. Hold on, let me see, time check here. It is a quarter to 12, so we'll probably get to the amusement park around 12. Yeah, these guys look like they're working on the boardwalk, so let's talk about the boardwalk, right? So. I don't know if you noticed back there, and you're going to notice again coming up, that there are certain sections that have been replaced that have um, wood like this. Like this is the old school boardwalk. And then you have like concrete, like, like fake boardwalk. That was what we just walked on. It was like that plastic composite stuff. And then we're about to come into a spot where it's like kind of concrete. Now, over the years, there's been many attempts to, to, to convert the entire boardwalk uh, to something more manageable because it costs more money to maintain this boardwalk. Now, what you're looking at here, a lot of people don't notice, um, if you're old enough to remember, you used to be able to, and I'm gonna pan the camera down, you can see the way the sand is kind of coming through the, um, the boardwalk here. So let me show you something. So back in the day, you can walk underneath the boardwalk. A, there was like a good, I want to say, man, how can I say it? Um, at least 10, 12 foot clearance. As a matter of fact, there are stairs that lead onto the boardwalk that are covered by sand. Uh, they did this uh, back in like 2001, 2002. Um, but you used to be able to walk underneath this boardwalk. This boardwalk had like a, like a, it was pretty, I'd say like an underground kind of civilization living underneath this boardwalk. Um, and they did that in an attempt to kind of, I guess, force out a lot of the people that were living underneath the boardwalk and were also damaging the boardwalk. There was a lot of fires under the boardwalk. People would live down there and cause fires and but over the years, they've tried to replace the entire boardwalk with, you know, concrete. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of pushback from people that live down here. The argument is his history. You know, why would you get rid of a piece of history? Um, this area coming up here, where these uh, apartment buildings are, now, the people living in these buildings, um, over the years, there's been a lot of signs hung out on the fence saying, leave the boardwalk alone, keep the boardwalk, don't get rid of the boardwalk. So, but as you can see, the boardwalk needs work. Um, they're constantly replacing individual pieces and uh, just causes a lot of, uh, a lot of maintenance to be done.
Like I said earlier, remember I said about the sign, nobody follows the sign six to 10 in the morning, so you can see people still riding bikes down here. Now when it gets crowded down here, they will, the police will enforce it. They will tell people to get off their bikes, but there's not a lot of people down here, so they're, they're not gonna bother people right now. Got some volleyball game going over here. Oh, they're going, man. So this is the one of the spots I was talking about. This is like concrete now. So So we are now past all of the Brighton streets. This right here is Ocean Parkway. This is where Ocean Parkway ends. It eventually hits the boardwalk. And uh, Ocean Parkway eventually, as you drive down Ocean Parkway, it eventually becomes the Prospect Expressway. Well, that's way down. I believe it come it becomes uh it turns into the prospect uh over by church avenue now i normally would have did this walk in the afternoon uh, last month I did, you know what's funny, last month I did a walk to Coney Island, and that's on my channel, you can find it, and uh, that day in April, it was 90 degrees, and I came here at around 5 o'clock, 5.30, and I had mentioned it in the video, it was like, it was like Memorial Day weekend, it was crowded, there was a ton of people down here. I had joked with a friend off camera where I said, you know, you know, it'd be funny if like Memorial Day weekend comes up and it's cold. And well, you know, I guess I should have kept my mouth shut. It's not cold. I mean, it's, it's nice out. It's going to be 70, it's going to be 70 degrees today, but not what you would expect for Memorial Day weekend. Walk through some people. We want to get some P 
people on camera, I guess, right? That way we don't feel like we're all alone. Should I walk through these people? Should I be... A... No, I'm not going to walk through these people. Actually, I am going to walk through them. They're going to stay separated like that. <laughs> Got to take every opportunity, my friends. Maybe that will be the thumbnail. I don't know. We'll see. You know what? Uh, I might as well talk about this. So when I pick my thumbnails for my photos, I uh, for my photos for my videos, but you can see where I'm going. So I'm a photographer, and when I get back um, and I look at my footage and I gotta color grade it and do everything and upload it, one of the things that happens is YouTube will, you know, YouTube's AI will pick like three or four um, thumbnails for you to, to choose from. Now what's, what's kind of creepy about it is that there have been times, actually it's like, I'd say eight, eight out of ten times I will go through footage and I will say that's a good thumbnail or whatever and then later on when I check what YouTube has picked eight out of ten times it picks what I what I thought was a good shot so it's like AI the AI is like picking it's going through the video and it's picking out interesting subjects there have been times where I will then you know I will use that now I will go back and get my own cut of it. I'll go back to the original video that's not color graded. And what I'll do is I will, you know, I'll pull it out and post process it in Photoshop, you know, to add some color and contrast. But many times uh, YouTube seems to pick out what is interesting. So a lot of times what I do is I'll, on my walks, I'll go through the video and if I see something interesting, I'll be like, oh, this might be the thumbnail. So remember what I was telling you guys earlier. So these stairs going down, that's, they used to pack the, um, they've packed the sand, but that's why there's a rail here. A lot of people are like, oh, why is there a rail here? There's stairs underneath here. At least 10 steps. So you used to be able to go underneath this boardwalk. Uh, as we could see, it is you know can't do that no more this beach has been raised much higher than it used to be but that's why there's a handrail here there's actual stairs underneath the sand if you if you dig as a matter of fact you could see right here there's a step right here look at that see a step there's a step and if you dig down deep enough there's another step and it goes down so Looks like they're growing a garden over here. Look at this. It's like uh, untouched nature. This happens over the winter um, when they don't tend to the beach. You get a lot of this uh, vegetation that grows up through the sand. But it looks like they're leaving this alone because this has. This has not been touched. Maybe they're gonna leave this. There's an actual like tree over here, like a bush. This is a uh, part of the aquarium shark tank. When they built this design, the whole point of this was to 
um, give the illusion of waves, ocean waves. That's why it's built like this. Bulwark maintenance truck right there. Let's see all that wood. <laughs> There's somebody directly in front of the van, and they don't want to move. Look, they they can. All right, I'm not gonna say that she could hear it, but it seemed like I don't know. Maybe she got headphones on. I won't criticize. Getting up to Coney Island. Well, up to Luna Park. We're on Coney Island. More of the aquarium behind this wall. There's another van coming up behind me. Now, you know what these reminds me of? These remind me of, in Star Wars, I think it was like the Clone Wars and, or even like the second movie, the, the second newer movie, um, where they drop those carriers and then out, out come the troops, the stormtroopers, the clone troopers, whatever you want to call them. Looks like we got a lot of kids coming. There'll be a lot of kids cutting out of school today. I mean, it is Friday before Memorial Day, so. This might actually be a school trip. There's the entrance to the aquarium. Whole beach is red flagged. For a, for a second, I got a little nervous. There's a lot of art that's painted on these walls, but I thought they painted over them. But these are these are actual banners that have been placed over. Um, I, I could be wrong. I mean, maybe they did get rid of the art underneath. That would suck. Because that the art that was underneath these was really nice. It looks like they painted it. Yeah, it looks like it's all painted over. I think the last time I was here. 
probably going to look at my video later. The last time I was here, last month, this was not here. So. Yeah. Those things are getting like smaller and smaller. Yeah, soon you won't even be able to see what you're operating. I can barely see the screen. Well, they already have the pinhole cameras. That yeah. Have in the little clip ones, yeah. Yeah, Alright, man. I figure we'll do some um, looking around of the restaurants and then we'll go into the park. Twelve o'clock. So you're gonna see a lot more people starting to show up. Like I said earlier, I couldn't come later. I got plans. I would have loved to come a little later in the day, but then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? Coney Island's gonna be here all summer. So. And I don't live far from Coney Island. I'm, I'm within walking distance. So for someone like me, it, it kind of gets, um, I don't know how to say it. It's like, think about somebody that lives in the city. You know, they see, you know, they probably walk by the Empire State Building a hundred times, a hundred times, you know, a month, you know, walking to and from, you know. So to them, it's, it's not a big deal. It's the same thing with me here, like, you know, I come down here a lot uh, without the camera, so. For me, it's, you know, it's just a neighborhood for me. I am so hungry right now. <laughs> oh man. The life of a cameraman, never get to eat. You have to walk by all these places. I will get something after this is over though. Checking my camera real quick. All right. So take a walk into the park.
All right, we'll take a quick detour and then we'll head back in to the park on the next lane. This is new. Um, it should be open by now, this whole area. Here it is, yeah. This is all new. <laughs> this used to be where the where you would, a lot of people would just park their cars over here, but they got rid of that. Uh, looks like it's kind of, it's, it's semi-open. They got the ticket windows open, but the uh, the vendor uh, trail trailers are still being worked on. No, we'll do. We'll walk on the street. Let's get on the street. See what's going on on the street. Nathan's across the street. They got rid of the, uh, hopefully they put it back, but they got rid of the countdown clock that used to be there. They had a countdown clock for many years that would count down to the day of the uh, hot dog eating contest on July 4th. Stewell Avenue Station, where all the trains terminate. Well, not all the trains, but the major ones, the D, the F, the N, and the Q. I do notice a lot of places that used to be here are, da are gone. Um, Applebee's is gone. We're gonna have to wait a month. I believe they even got rid of the Carl's Jr. that was down here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through the park one last time, through the whole park, and get onto the boardwalk and then Take a quick walk on the beach. So those trains.
trains are leaving the station. The bottom train that you saw was the F train and the top train was the Q train. By tomorrow, this, well, actually by tomorrow, by this afternoon, this will be crowded. Oh, that's it. I'm going to get copyrighted. The YouTube algorithm is going to hit my video and say, there's copyrighted music on your video. You cannot monetize this funny thing is I can't monetize anything right now because I'm still approaching 1,000 subscribers which I want to thank everybody for subscribing that has subscribed we got some Tina Turner Yeah, they're definitely going to hit my video a few times. Just missed the uh, drop of the cyclone, but we'll get the tail end of it here. video I did last month I I got here just in the nick of time as it was coming down all right we're gonna get onto the boardwalk again we're gonna go onto the beach
I can tell you right now, the food smells so good. Oh, man. We're back on the boardwalk. As you can see, there's a pretty good breeze coming in off the ocean. We'll get on over there. Let's do another walk over here. Definitely a few more rides down here. New rides that just popped up this year. Oh, I just got I just got a whiff of Nathan's fries with ketchup on them. It was so strong. <laughs> I hate when I'm hungry and then I just smell food and I just can't stop talking about food. That's just the way it is, man. I'm dying over here. Looks like we got a, a little bit of a spot where everyone's got their phones out. All right, we're going to get on the beach here. Not a lot of people on the beach. Then again, it is Friday, it is early. Tomorrow, this won't be the case, regardless of how cool it is. Be a lot of people here. You got a news copter up here, circling us, probably getting shots. It's actually a Channel 7 news copter, I could see it. You could see this big seven on the side. So they're probably trying to get some shots. 12 o'clock news is on right now, so that means if I look back if I look back at the cast I might actually be on TV right now wouldn't that be cool and it'd be very easy to pick me out because I am walking on this pleasant little carpet <laughs> that takes us out to the beach <sighs> yeah we're gonna go down to the beach we're gonna walk over 
and then walk over to the pier and end it. Now, I don't want to get sand in my sneakers because these are my newer sneakers, but whatever, I'll just walk slow. Here we go. We are on the beach. I'll put the camera down a bit so you all could look at the ocean coming up on the sand. There are people in the water, shallow, so. I can imagine that water is cold. And now you can see this way, there's not a lot of people out on the beach. got caught there. My sneakers almost got sagged. That news helicopter is right above me now. It's literally about to go under the sun and there is the shadow right there. <laughs> mm. I, saw, I saw it getting ready to go by the sun. I knew it was, it was gonna cast a shadow. There it is up there. I can't see it in the screen because the screen's so small, so hopefully it's showing up on camera. There are two lifeguards out here, it looks like. That's what it looks like. Unless these are people that are not these are probably just people sitting on the lifeguard chair. All right, we're getting to the end of this walk. We've been walking 50, looks like about 56 minutes. it at the pier we're gonna stay down here now after I get off of this I'll probably go get me something to eat because I am hungry Some nice relaxing sounds of the uh, tide coming in. You play this over and over, loop it, and it's to help you go to sleep.
Well, this is where we're going to close out the walk, people. So, let me get under the pier here for a second. Looks like the tide is coming up. But anyway, I want to hope everyone has a great Memorial Day weekend. Hope everyone eats. It's definitely a... Uh, a weekend where there's a lot of barbecues going on, a lot of family getting together, so hopefully that's the case for you. If it's not, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a good weekend, that's what matters. Most important thing is try not to work on the weekend too hard and just try to relax and enjoy the time off if you have the time off. As for me, I'll just be, uh, I don't know what I'll be doing this weekend. I know what I'm doing tonight, but I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. We'll see. Um, anyway, this is it. We're ending the walk here. I think it's a great place to end the walk. And I'm glad everybody uh, tuned in, and we'll catch you on the next one.